For the past year, President Joe Biden and his administration have announced a proposal of raising minimum wage for the whole country to $15 an hour. I was able to have an interview with economics professor Mara Farka from California State University Fullerton. And here is a clip of what she had to say about all of this. Economists have historically been against changes in minimum wage, but there have been studies now that show that they're not the they're not the job killers that they were first thought to be. There have been smaller experiments that are done by economists. So let's say there was one in New Jersey, one in Philadelphia, but these are, these are small areas, small localities and so on, which have already high cost of living. So I'm very hesitant to kind of make it a blanket statement that everybody will benefit for the US. My view is that no, I think they're gonna be winners and losers. I don't think the society as a whole will win. The last time minimum wage was raised was back in 2009 by $7.25 an hour. Till then, there has been no official proposal to increase it till now. States like California, Arizona, Colorado, Massachusetts, and a few other states have already raised their minimum wage beyond $7.25 throughout the years. Uh, no, because I believe each state uh, has to deal with their own minimum wage increases, not federal. The planning in the Biden administration is still on the work, and their main goal is to get the House of Senate to pass this first. This race would be implemented through the Raise the Wage Act by the federal minimum wage in this coronavirus relief plan. Yes, I agree the wage should go up to 15 just because it would help a lot of communities and it would benefit a lot of families. President Joe Biden is hoping that this will help the economy in the future and that this new policy will be a win for everyone. In Los Angeles, Heather Solis, CSEF News.